Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And today we have a special report. I brought in Katie from Stone Second Sense. You guys know that I hired her. I brought her in. She is leading the edge here of this report because this is something that is crucial for all of you to see. The Democrats, the leftists, the gun controllers, they're all marching to the same vibe, and it is a concern, and that is what we're going to get into today, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think in the comments field below. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. If you are down with this type of movement forward together, I'd love to have you on the along for the ride, and thank you for that consideration. And now, guys, you know how this... We have this tendency in this country to watch leftists do something like this to the Constitution? Yeah, they do that a lot. Well, in that edge, I've sent Katie Stone. Now, Katie Stone works for us now. She has her own channel, Stone Second Sense. Katie, thank you so much for being here. And you've got some stuff that we sent you in the direction, and you did not come up lacking. You found some good stuff here, didn't you? Yeah, so as most of everybody knows, Gavin Newsom created his syntax yesterday. It was absolute nonsense. But um, yeah. we noticed when digging, well, I noticed when digging into Gavin Newsom's nonsense He's not the first one to talk about stuff like this. He's not the second one, and he's not even the third one. I mean, we have, over the last couple years and the last year, seen so many governors and other people on the left just going after stuff that's absolutely unconstitutional and just, you know, it's kind of like throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks, and then when one of them gets an inch and the next one tries to take a mile, yeah, that's kind of how all yeah. this has worked out. <laughs> Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a pretty good assessment. But so now, let's take a look at the first thing that started this. Then we'll show you the clips that Katie uncovered. Uh, judge Benitez, um, just a week or so ago, threw out, federal judge in San Diego, threw out California's leading uh, bill, and one of our leading bills as it relates to uh, large capacity magazine clips. You have to read the uh, decision. Uh, you're not surprised but read it to understand what we're up against. Sorry, I, you know, <laughs> I had to chuckle just a little bit because he said, you know, clips. So, sorry. You know, yeah, you know clips, like not a, magazines. Yeah. No, no, no. No, these are LCMs, Katie. Katie, be so serious. These are LCMs, large capacity magazines. Gun controllers have told us they're the bane of all existence. But... You know, there's a reason that we led with this clip. And guys, if you have not subscribed to Katie's channel, Stone Second Sense, I'll link it down there. Please jump on. We are going for a different angle on her channel, and it's something for our gun rights. But check this out. So, you know, it's interesting that he brings this up. And Katie, that was a good clip to start this off. Let me show you the actual decision that he wrote that Gavin Newsom is referencing. This is Judge Benitez. And this is what he's saying is off the charts and what they're dealing with, okay? That kind of solution is an infringement on the constitutional right of citizens to keep and bear arms. The adoption of the Second Amendment was a freedom calculus decided long ago by our first citizens who cherished individual freedom with its risks more than the subservient security of a British ruler or the smothering safety of domestic lawmakers. The freedom they fought for was worth fighting for then, and that freedom is entitled to be preserved still. So, Katie, <laughs> hypothetical here. Um, don't you think that sounds like it's a decision we should support, not lambast from the bully pulpit of the governorship of California? Oh, 100%. I, I don't see where he said anything wrong. <laughs> I mean, like, that's, that's literally a perfect statement. That's th the subservient nature of a legislature to make you completely reliant on them for safety while infringing your rights is not what this country was founded on. It's not what this country's about. In fact, what we're going to do now, and this is what Katie spent all morning doing, we're going to run through a few governor clips to show you that this is not just Newsom. This is all of them. Katie, take it away. All right, so you guys remember the crazy tyrant from New Mexico? Here we go. Same, because those are kids. They're kids who shouldn't be shot. It's but disgusting. we also have, Governor, the Constitution of, the, of New Mexico and the Constitution of the United States, and you're an attorney... Do you think you're on solid constitutional ground here? Well, um, we're going to see. I mean, look, I wouldn't do it if I didn't think I had the right. I have the but right. Where is the right? Where is the in right? In the state of New Mexico. Public health, it's a suspension. It's not a ban. And we'll see what all of these court actions mm -hmm. do. It's okay. Katie, it's a suspension. It's not a ban. It's just, we're just suspending your rights. We're not banning your rights. Like, you know, 
<laughs> it's. I mean, we laugh about it because to us, it, it's 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 kind of comical. But I mean, it's not funny. It, it's not funny. No, at all. in I mean, reality, no. Exactly. I mean, she's she tried and for a couple days, uh, potentially succeeded to take away or suspend, in her words, the rights of a lot of people in New Mexico. It's absolutely unconstitutional and ridiculous. Oh yeah, and it got smoked by the TRO. If you guys weren't following that little that little tyrant, got absolutely destroyed from the left, the right, and the judge. Anyway, so that's just New Mexico. So so far, we have California. We have a judge who the California governor just lambasted, and he said what I showed you. We have New Mexico. Katie, what you got stored up for us next? This one, I'm just gonna play it. I want to hear your reaction. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna play it. Right. It's really people that are getting these guns illegally that are causing the violence, not the people going and getting the permit legally. And that's the basis for the whole Supreme Court argument. Do you have the numbers? I don't need to have numbers. I don't need, I don't have to have a data point to point to to say that this is going to make, all I know is I have a responsibility to the people of this state to have sensible gun safety laws. And this one was not developed. Really? That was the Hokel. That was the Hokel machine. That was from last year. So, so now let's let's just keep on keep on this this little platform of what you put together because I love mapping these things out when you zoom out. California governor, it's all about safety, and Judge Benitez is terrible because the large capacity magazine. Even though I just showed you what he wrote, New Mexico governor comes out and says, uh, "Well, you know, we're going to see if it's constitutional because we it's all about safety." And now you've got the governor of New York also saying, I don't need data. I don't need numbers. I don't need anything. I am the queen tyrant and I can do whatever I want to keep people safe. Now, in a normal world, Katie, that would be enough to go, hey, that's kind of concerning. You'd think, you, wouldn't you? <laughs> but, but, but we've got another clip, don't we? We do. Well, let's go with it. They're not only in evidence, they're well understood by those that are open argument interested in evidence. It's not understood by the ideologues, and that's what we're up against. The history-only ideologues that go back to, well, their selected history of what the world looked like in 1790. When there were, what? 300, no, wait, 4 million people living in America. Hmm. Biggest city in America, New York, I think had maybe 32, 33,000 people, predominantly rural farmers. This history-only approach, you're seeing it over and over again. We look forward to Judge Benitez's decision. It's already written where he's likely to overturn our assault weapons ban. Stay tuned. That's a preview of things to come in the next few weeks. Large capacity magazine clips. That will likely be thrown out by these same ideologues. There's clips again, Katie. There's, there's clips. And that was seven to eight months ago. You know what, Katie? I'm going to be honest. That was some good, that was some good research. You've got, you've got three different clips there, all of different governors from all different states, all implying that they can do whatever they want, whenever they want, because it's all about their safety. They will provide you and infringe upon your Second Amendment rights. You know, I'm catching a, a theme here, Katie. What, what would be the theme of the... Would this maybe be all Democrat, liberal-run administrations doing this? Maybe? Uh, I mean, the signs are there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, seem, it seems like they've done something wrong. And I think that's an extremely valuable thing. This special report that you put together was awesome because when you zoom out and you see everything they've done over the past several months... It paints a picture beyond just what's happening in that moment. It paints a picture directing across the entire spectrum. These people are willing to sacrifice your rights. And it's not just one. It's not just two. It's not just three. There's many more, as Katie said. But this is incredibly important stuff. When you look at what they're doing and what they say and their actions, understand we put this compilation together to show you their outcome is quite obvious. And Katie, thank you so much for putting this together. And you guys make sure that you check out Katie's channel, Stone Second Sense. You did great on this. And thank you so much for that. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And so if you guys enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments field. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And again, I really need to know if you like these special reports because the first ones we've done went over really, really well. And I think they're extremely valuable. And I look forward to that feedback in the comments field below. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you on the next one.